You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by hauntedsufalls.com. <laughs> So what do we have going on today? Stuff. Well, you know, we fire up as usual and then dig in and, uh, my goodness, have have a ball. There's a reason I have a trophy case for my broadcast career. It's true. Uh, Augustus Caesar, born this day. Oh, nice. Along with Ray Charles, who I just have always just adored. Love the Ray Man. Uh, Bruce Springsteen is 72 and still cranky. I don't know what he's cranky about. He has he's been kind of cranky He's kind of growly. Yeah. It's like, come on, Bruce. Man, get over it. Uh, Typhoid Mary, born this day. Oh, wow. Uh, not her real name, it turns out. <clears throat> <laughs> that was just a nickname, huh? It was actually Mary, Mary Mallon. She ran around and gave people typhoid. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So they kind of gave her a nickname there. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It was 1884, American inventor Herman Hollerith. Patton's... What was called his mechanical tabulating machine. Oh, is that a calculator? That would be the beginning of what we know as data processing. Nice. Yeah, it all starts somewhere, right? Huh. Exactly. Love that stuff. 1962. Oh, wow. ABC debuts this for a million dollars. You guys will whip up my checkbook right now. 1962, ABC debuts its first color TV series. What was it? Nineteen sixty-two. Oh, the dun, first. Dun, I have dun, dun, no dun, clue. Dun, dun, dun. Was it Days of Our Lives? It was not. But let me introduce you. Meet George Jetson. Wife Jane. Yeah, that would, that would have been like TV of the future at, at that time. And yeah, I was uh, I was but a lad, but uh, you know, growing up, and I just and I'll I'll just come clean here because why not? A lot of time has come by. Although uh, their daughter Judy was a two dimensional animated uh, figure, she was kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> she was hot for hey, a cartoon. Don't judge me. <laughs> daughter Judy. Oh my. And this is really interesting. 1999. This day. Qantas Flight 1 overshoots the runway in Bangkok. Some passengers got a little bit bumped up, a couple scrapes, a couple bruises, that was it. The reason I bring that up is still to this day, that is the worst crash in Qantas history. But nobody died. No, just a couple bumps, a couple bruises. That said, keep in mind that company was founded 101 years ago. Wow. It had been flying people internationally since 1935. Wow. So, so when Pretty Ray, good track record, when really. Ray Man says fly Qantas, that, that's totally legit. Yeah, that's absolutely. Fine. Totally legit. I just huh. thought that was uh, pretty, pretty fascinating. That so there you go. I know. Now you know, and we can just get this done. We're going to do it. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by hauntedsufalls.com. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Yeah. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. And Dan, what do you find interesting on this fine Thursday? You know, you threw it at me as kind of a dare. Mm. And I thought about it for a good, wow, I really pondered it. Let's say maybe 90 seconds. Oh, you're going to read that thing? Yeah, and the reason nice. I find it interesting is this is the way it used to be done. Yeah. It used to be back in radio when radio was actually coal-powered. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you had to do... A certain amount of PSA content, oh, yeah. or public service announcements. Yes, and we still do. We still every do. day, and most of those public service announcements they came through sale ma- snail mail. Yeah, and you'd go through them and see it was legit, and you go, okay, well we got to do a PSA standby. And this actually came to us, to Sunny Radio, through the mail through the mail. I was, Isn't that cute? I thought for sure it was fan mail for Dan. Oh, no. again, that stuff's piling up in the tool <laughs> shut up. I got <laughs> stacks of that. It's it. We're we're just. We're filthy with that. Yeah, and a little little uh, handwritten note. Please ail, uh, email me if if we need to advertise in in another way. 
That's from a JG uh, Weddy out of out of Crooks. Crooks got a party going on, and so I'm That's gonna promote weekend. it because I love the fact that somebody actually typed this up, yeah. threw it in an envelope, stamped it, addressed it, and sent us to it. Yeah, I, I that's agree. really cool. So here we go. It's the Harvest Festival Supper, West Naderos Lutheran Church coming up. Is this uh heck, this is Saturday. This yeah, is the a couple days. Yeah, the twenty fifth. Four thirty to six thirty. It's a triple header. It's a three-wing circus going on. It's a bake sale. It's a farmer's market and a crafts fair. Nice. How great is that? I think we should stop by. It's just three miles north and one mile east of Crooks. And on the menu, full-blown dinner going on, roast beef, mashed potatoes, Ooh. gravy, corn salads, it gets better, Heidi, desserts, and what are being deemed as Norwegian goodies. Oh, oh my. we do need to go. We this. do need to go. What time is it again? It's going on from 4.30 to 6.30. Get there early if you want a parking space anywhere near the church. Yeah, That's right. That's, this is going to be the thing. It's going to be pandemonium. Uh, children under under uh, age five are free. Ooh. Oh, so man. if you've always wanted a one to four year old, we need to hustle sure, up. It some won't, kids. won't cost you anything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bring some kids with. <laughs> <laughs> Carry outs available, handicap accessible. So the Harvest Festival Supper, West Nadero's Church. Crooks Saturday. Put, I think that sounds like I'm a putting it on my time. calendar right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. There but you I'm go. Gonna, that I'm is the first it. public service announcement I think I've made in I know forever years probably. But, but wasn't it fun to do it? Yeah. And hey, by the way, you can email us or you can message us on our Facebook page. Uh, whatever. I want to fire up uh, doing lost dogs, lost pets. <laughs> <we'll start covering laughs> that. That's okay. a good time too. <laughs> oh damn! Just found that interesting. That, that was kind of fun. It no, was it fun. fun. Uh, see you in Crooks on Saturday. That is why we refer to this as stuff Dan finds interesting. Invoice them. I'm John with a fun comparison. Some puppies are purebred and they cost more. Others are more affordable. And then there are free puppies. Nobody really knows where they come from, but they're free. In the advertising world, it's like that too. There are some super expensive ways to advertise if you can afford it, and there are some free things you've probably tried, but those dogs rarely work. Radio is kind of like that middle puppy. Affordable will snuggle with you and hopefully not pee on the rug. Radio advertising. Super affordable, a great investment, and man's best friend. Try it and let BetterResultsAdvertising.com bring your message to life. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Claudie's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Dan Ferris with the, uh, the he's got his finger on the pulse, ladies and gentlemen. What's, what's going on? I do. Well, this is coming up, and I haven't missed one yet. Uh, thanks to my uh, crack news team at Kello TV. Uh, coming up in just about a week. What is it? What's the date for this? Oh, October 2nd this year. Fifth annual Women's March is taking place all across the country. Oh, yeah. Including right here in Sioux Falls. Topic this year, of course, is reproductive rights following, uh, you know, <clears throat> some reproductive uh, rights decisions laws in Texas, which has zero effect on us. But there you go. <clears throat> According to Kristen Hayward, the organizer for this year's event, quote, I want people to feel empowered to speak their truth. I'm with you, Kristen. When is this? <laughs> October second. Oh, we got we got some time. Yeah, that's all there is to it. And uh, seriously, and the reason I go and hey, if you're a single male, this is a great way to meet women. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not a guest speaker, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, I just go down and troll. It's awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, sure. Some of them are a little angry, but. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get over that hurdle, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I should be, I should be disciplining you right now or something. Holy! Co- Are we done? Is that what's your, oh, you too? Awesome. You too. All right. Hey, coming up, we're gonna have something else. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by HauntedSiouxFalls.com. Many new students sign up for credit cards that are not very good. Have a conversation about how to properly use credit so they don't learn this lesson the hard way. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Want one that offers points? We have those. Want a card to help you build credit? We have those too. BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. Going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. I have Brent Grosvenor joining me. He's got Lost in Vegas next Wednesday and Thursday in Sioux Falls at the Orpheum Theater. Brent, how are you doing, sir? 
I'm doing great. So there are several people who've already had a chance to see Lost in Vegas and rave reviews. Folks are loving this. And then there were a couple of folks on the cast that got sick, which is really sad. So you had to cancel a performance last week. But the good news is anybody that had tickets for that can come next Wednesday and next Thursday. So we took a negative, turned it into a positive, and there's also room for other people. So if you haven't seen it and you want to see it, you can get out and see the show next week as well. That's right. Yeah, we have, we've have. we already had quite a few people say, oh, I'm, I'm glad you have new dates because I couldn't make it last weekend or to any of the other shows. And so now they, they can. So yeah, their uh, tickets are available at lostinvegasmusical.com and and you can go to the box office. You can call the pavilion box office. So, yeah, two shows, and that's it. Brent, how many people are in the cast of this show? There's quite a few, aren't there? Yeah, this is a very special cast of about 33 people. Um, it's a complicated show. You know, we need really amazing actors and singers. There's so many different roles that that are that take part of this story. And so, it's a really talented cast. I can't say enough about it. You'll see videos on the website of the cast. Now let's talk about the story itself, Lost in Vegas. Was this written by you? Yep. Yeah. Our shows are, um, I write and produce the musicals and everything is original and um, uh, relevant to our current day and age that we live in. Uh, Really giving people amazing stories, captivating stories from a Christian worldview. And and so that's what I do. I I write and compose the music as well as uh, perform in the shows, which I just love doing, so I keep doing it. And this is something that you have been doing for quite a while, but it's still fairly new in the Sioux Falls area. Let's talk a little bit about how this came to Sioux Falls. Sure. Uh, so Las Vegas, yeah, I created this show about 10 years ago. It was many years in the making before that, as I started with uh, the, the concept of the prodigal son parable and putting that in modern-day true stories. And so once I started diving into the lives of various people from Las Vegas, people that I knew or that I learned about, I said, all right, well, let's tie this all together uh, and create a crime story, which most people love anyway. Uh, so a crime story that someone can get caught up in and sort of has that thriller uh, side to it with the villain and all of that. So, um, But really, it's about uh, divine romance. And so people love a great story. They also love a great love story. And so we incorporated all that into this crime story, and you, ha- you really have the best of everything, with beautiful ballads, um, with intriguing characters, and a plot that is you know, riveting from the beginning to the end. We actually had a chance to see it. It's a great performance. If people would like to get a ticket for the show for next Wednesday and next Thursday, Brent, how do they get these tickets? You, uh, if there's tickets at the door, you can come to the door, but I recommend getting them in advance by just going to lostinvegasmusical.com or go to the Pavilion box office. They handle the tickets for the Orpheum Theater. uh, But yeah, the easiest thing is to go to lostinvegasmusical.com and you'll see the link there to buy tickets. Again, Lost in Vegas at the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls. It's Wednesday and Thursday, the 29th and 30th of September. I'll put a link to the tickets on our Facebook page. Brent, thanks for your time, sir. Thank you. Great talking to you. Absolutely. Again, Lost in Vegas at the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It is Wednesday, the 29th, and Thursday, the 30th of September. All of the details at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Merry Christmas! Oh, you're not ready for that yet. How about Happy Halloween? At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all of the fun holidays throughout the year with funny, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we have a gift idea for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the newsiest news we do. It's News with Dan Ferris. Spending every spare moment wearing out the shoe leather, banging on desks, demanding answers. You know, everybody's ticked off for decades and decades about big energy, big oil, big pharma. Right. Big, big, well, it's about time because this has been sticking in my craw for years. Somebody has finally taken on big chicken. Okay. Yeah. Who's taking them on? People who purchase chicken products between, and I'm not making any of this up. Okay. 
you purchase chicken products between 2009 and 2020, you may be eligible to take part in a $181 million settlement over alleged price gouge and chicken overcharge. Uh oh. Organization called, and again, I'm making none of this up, the Broiler Chicken Antitrust Litigation <laughs> class. <laughs> Class action lawsuit claims that several companies conspired to stabilize the price and supply of chicken, which would violate several consumer and antitrust Uh-oh. laws, state and federal levels. Suit covers fresh or frozen raw chicken, whole cut up birds purchased. Holy cow. Within a package or white meat parts, super racist, sold by Fielddale, George's, Marjack, Pico, Pilgrims and Tyson Foods. Ooh, these are some big January names. January right first, two thousand nine, and December thirty first, twenty twenty. I have bought tons of that stuff, but I do not keep my grocery receipts, so I wouldn't even be able to prove it. Now, this settlement, this class action, still needs to be approved by a judge. Hearing is uh, scheduled. Wow, just in time for Christmas. Hearing scheduled for December twentieth. But there is a website. Mm. It is, in fact, again, not making any of this up. Overchargedforchicken.com. <laughs> I'm surprised that was available. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Punch I know you're up. not kidding. Overchargedforchicken.com. It's like a site John would buy. It does sound like something I would own. <laughs> and when you go to the website, and they are covering the bases, there's even a tab if you uh, wanted an Espanol just in case you bought Spanish speaking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go. Should we take a look at sports real quick here? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yes, going on? let's. Oh, quick reminder brought to you by Hockey Headquarters. By the way, their annual swap meet is this Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's coming right up. Uh, from 11 to 1. This is fantastic. If you're looking to maybe get somebody on the ice, get a kid into skating, get a kid into hockey, whatever, it's, it's a great way to save some bucks and get some good stuff. If you have equipment laying around you haven't used in a while, Bring it by. Yeah. See if we can unload it. So, yeah, the big swap meet. And we will be there. We will. By the way, doing a broadcast and uh, playing some music and having some fun. And Making some babies, kissing some hands. I, You know, I did a little research because this always cracks me up. Now, you know, I have a son, Luke, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. And uh, loved athletics. He played football. He played basketball. He played baseball. His dad, me, I played all those too, but my favorite sport was hockey. I yeah. grew up a rink rat in Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. It's the one sport I couldn't get him to do. He would not even put on a pair of skates. Really? Oh. As a little kid, yeah, yeah, just something about, those are sharp, I'm going to get hurt. But the injury thing, and a lot of people who don't know the game of hockey think that it is just loaded with people getting busted up and injured. That is not the case. It's one of the, probably the safest, fastest contact sport on the planet. Yeah. So when it came to injuries, I did a little research. The number one sport, most injuries per players in the world, is basketball. Really? Followed by running and jogging. At number three is soccer. Football's at number four. I thought football would have been number one. I was going to guess one. as number one, yeah. But again, it's per Concussion stuff. Per people participating in it. At number five is baseball. Huh. Recreational bicycling. Number of injuries, it ranks number six. No kidding. Tennis is at number seven. A lot of tennis elbows. Yeah. So yeah, you got to go down at number eight is hockey. Wow. Ice hockey. So, you are so padded up anymore, and the ice yeah, is getting right. I played for years, and the, uh, the only injury I really, well, I got my front teeth kicked out, but that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've all been there. Well, it really wasn't my fault, but back then, you didn't, believe it or not, you were not required to wear a helmet. You and I, I mean, uh, right. yeah, it was it was, it was, was pretty So crazy. you were playing hockey without a helmet. I, uh, that explains I so actually, much. I was wearing a helmet, <laughs> but... Did a line change real quick, jumped in. I didn't I didn't put my mouth guard back in. Oh. And I caught a blade in the face and was spitting enamel. So mm. there Ouch. you go. It's okay. I was 11. I just rubbed some dirt in it and kept on going. <laughs> wow. So there you go. And now you know, again, uh, Hockey Headquarters Annual Swap Meet uh, this Saturday, 11 to 1. And from the sunny 93.3 News Desk, I'm Dan Ferris reminding you of its news. It's news to me. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at Timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's Timeforrehab.com. 
Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, September 23, 2021. U.S. equities extended their rebound Wednesday, aided by a more dovish-than-expected statement from the FOMC. They say to expect the onset of tapering soon, but gave no indication of when or by how much. The real surprise in the statement is the possibility of an interest rate hike in 2022. The market had been pricing in zero chance of a rate hike until 2023, but the rapid pace of inflation has drastically altered the economic environment. Although the market is rebounding, it is not yet out of the woods. The few earnings reports released this week reveal an underlying problem within the market that will most likely cause the market indices to continue correcting. Results from Lennar and Federal Express reveal inflation is taking a bite out of results. If the consensus outlook for S&P 500 earnings growth begins to contract, the market will contract with it. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. 